In this video, we're going to talk about what travel ball is versus what Little League, a.k.a. Rec Ball, is on Better Ball Player. So today, I'm going to go into a kind of a topic that kind of like can educate you as a parent or whoever's watching this, um, grandparent, guardian, whatever. Um, you, you, when you come to that you know, standpoint where like, okay, well, what, what league do I need to put my son in or daughter? You know, travel ball actually has and, and Little League has baseball and softball specifically we're going to talk about baseball in this video so when it comes to two different paths we have basically little league aka rec ball and we have kind of the upper echelon which is called travel ball which has a few different um you know divisions U trip gsa there's a bunch of them throughout the united states that are different and you know cal ripkin and all that kind of stuff so today we're going to talk about that so Without further ado, let's take a look at literally what is the difference. So travel ball, we can start off by saying it's more of like a advanced level of baseball where you typically have to try out for a team and then be placed on a team. Uh, travel ball organizations can be funded uh, by nonprofits. They can be privately funded. Some of them, you know, are made teams. Um, usually coached, you know, there's two types of coaches, paid coaches by the organization, or there's, you know, dads or parents that, that will coach these teams. Um, typically, you'll see a higher level of play. I'm not saying in all cases, but in most cases, you'll see a higher level of play in the travel ball tournaments and leagues, just because it's it's dedicated towards the person who wants to go a little bit farther, play a little more serious, play more. Um, so you'll see that in kind of the travel ball aspect of baseball and, you know, youth baseball, when you get up into the, um, the older kids, older young men, you'll have, you know, perfect game. You'll have a bunch of other, uh, subsets of travel baseball that go into effect as well. So you, you'll tend to see the higher competition, more skilled athletes in travel ball. And again, I'm not saying that, you know, with little league players or not as gifted as some because some play both so it's just a matter of uh telling you what a travel ball team consists of so that kind of you know highlights on the fact of travel ball so you know it's a little bit more of aggressive um you're going to be traveling you're going to be obviously travel ball you're going to be going to different complexes. You're going to be competing in tournaments on weekends and sometimes during the week. You'll be going away. You'll be traveling. You'll be playing with your team. Um, so there's all of that. It's not a local league and you just play in the local league. You'll be traveling for uh, competition, be traveling for games. So that's kind of it. it you know, total, you know, cliff notes, top level uh, explanation of what travel ball is. And let's get into what, uh, little league baseball is AKA rec ball. So with little league, obviously, um, different communities all over the United States have local baseball league. Um, so that would be the little league league. Um, it's also referred to as rec ball by travel ball people. So, um, with rec ball, um, you typically play at the local league. All your games will go through that league and it's more of a, not, not, not necessarily there's, no talent there, but more of a de de developmental um, aspect. You know, a lot of kids play Little League just to get out and do sports and just be a part of a team and learn and, you know, learn aspects of baseball, which, you know, I like to preach on with my own kids. You know, you learn discipline, you, le you learn to, you know, be a competitor, you learn to respect others, you know, that type of thing. So I like, I love what Little League has done for me. I played Little League all, you know, all my years growing up. And I really benefited from all of that growing up. So I definitely recommend if, in, you know, you're, you're new, maybe new to baseball, you don't know where to go to baseball, check out a local little league, develop your skill set there. And then if you have the talent to, you know, step up to the next league and you want to travel, that would, would be where travel ball would come into play. You know, obviously we try out for a local team. Uh, you can, you know, use Facebook, use Google, you know, Google travel ball teams in, in blank area. There's a ton of resources for that and, you know, try out for a local team. So definitely wanted to do this video because I've been seeing a lot of questions. So, you know, on the screen here, I have the 
the travel ball about you, you triple say this is one of the travel ball leagues. So obviously they started with softball and then got into baseball as they've seen fit. So um, this one on the screen here is now the, you know, obviously the little league uh, homepage. And this is what you've seen on the TV guys. If, if you're watching the little league world series, it's all about, you know, to power of youth baseball and softball to teach lessons, build stronger individuals and communities. So I, you know, obviously I'll, there's a lot going for each, uh, decide on what your son or daughter needs to play and, you know, go with it. So, um, thanks for watching. I wanted to do this video just so you, everybody can understand, you know, the difference between both and make an informed decision for your son or daughter. So please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the love and the follows. I will be back with more videos, better ball players shop in the description. If you love the channel you you know want some baseball gear for your son or daughter shop the link in the in the bot in the description and um, we'll get that out to you to help support the channel i appreciate it thanks guys